Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Alma Linux 9.5 on VMA workstation. Go to Alma Linux official website that is almalinux.org. Click on download, then click on this CDR DVD icon. See here we have the versions 9.5 or 8.10. Okay. See here we have the boot IS1 DVD ISO. Click on Alma Linux 9.5 DVD ISO. Click on it. See once we click down, it automatically started the download. Go to download. See here the size is 10.6 gigabytes. Okay, I'm cancelling this one because I have already downloaded Alma Linux 9.5 DVD ISO. See here. Okay. In your case, wait until download completes. See here. The difference between DVD ISO and boot ISO is this is the difference. Okay. So, it is better to download DVD ISO. Once the DVD ISO download is completed, then open VMA Workstation. If you want to install VMA Workstation on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. VMA. Click on VMA Workstation. Now click on create a new virtual machine or file and select new virtual machine. Both are same. Next. Select the installer disk image file, then select the downloaded ISO file. See, select it, click on open, click on next. Select Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9, then click on next, then provide the name. Then see this is just virtual machine name. Now we have to select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders. Click on browse. VMs. Click on make new folder. Give the name. Click on OK. Click on next. Say, provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 100 gigabytes. Then click on next. See, by default it has selected memory as 2 gigabytes and I want to increase it. So click on customize hardware. Use this pointer up or you can provide the memory in megabytes. Then click on close, click on finish. Still if you want to edit these settings, click select the machine, virtual machine name from the list and click on edit virtual machine settings or right click and select the settings or select it and click on VM and self settings. All three options are same. If you are okay with all these settings, then click on power on this virtual machine to install the Alma Linux 9.5 on VMA workstation. Use up and down arrows and select the first option that is install Alma Linux 9.5 and hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. See, begin installation has been grayed out. Why? Because the options that are marked with red color must be filled. Okay, so click on installation destination. Then I am going with the default ones. So, so click on done. Then set the password for root, root account. So click on root password. Then provide the password. Then click on done. Click on create. Here's a creation. I'm giving here's a full name as Artiscus. Username also same. I want to make this user as administrator. Then provide the password. Then click on done. See, now we are able to click on begin installation. And if you want to select the software, click on software selection. I am going with server with GUI. But we have the option only server, minimal install, workstation, custom operating system and virtual, virtualization host. Okay, I am okay with this one. And if you want to select additional softwares, you can select from this list. Okay. 
I'm not going to do anything. Just click on done. Be click on begin installation to start the Alma Linux installation as virtual machine on VMware workstation. So click on begin installation. See installation has been started. This may take time. So I'm pausing this video or until it will ask us to reboot the system. See, installation has been completed. Now click on Reboot System. Click on it. Click on username and provide the password. Click on no thanks. Now open terminal. Increase the font. Click on this argent lines and click on select the preferences. Then select unnamed. Then select this checkbox. See, font is increased. Still, if you want to increase the font, select it. Increase the font. Close it. Close this one. Now, we have the version of the Alma Linux that we have installed. Slash more slash etc os hyphen release. Hit enter. See, we have installed Alma Linux 9.5. Control L. If you want to verify the IP of this machine, give IF config. Hit enter. See, this is the IP of this machine, this virtual machine. The first step after connecting to Alma Linux is sudo. We have to update the packages. sudo dnf update percent ampersand dnf sudo dnf upgrade and hit enter. Then provide the password of sudo user. This may take time. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Arma Linux 9.5 on VMA Workstation. For more Linux tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.